if it was like this amazing thing, considering how the government has treated black people, they probably wouldn't be pushing it so hard on you. Is what, what you're trying to say, right? Yeah, like. Um, does, that make, you know, does that make sense? I feel like you know the, the the relationship with the government and black people, any people of color, any indigenous people, any just. You know, you guys are good people, but you know, yeah. anybody that's not a white male in this country is going to be three foot, two feet back. Like, it's it's just kind of, that's how it is. But it's not like a stepping stone or like, it's nothing that can stop you because if you think in your mind, you can do anything. This goes back to the health thing. If yeah. you're thinking all day about negative COVID and anxiety, that's what you're going to attract to you because your cells, they like, it, it's, that's how that works. Your cells will literally respond to what you're thinking. What you believe, if if you believe this rock is gonna change your life, and every day you pray to this rock, some good things it gonna happen. Not, like actually, for yeah. real, like Listen, man, people have superstitions, and the superstitions help because it does something with your brain patterns. Exactly. So it's not so much all oh, you believe in religion and God ain't never stopped a vaccine, but meditating and thinking about and praying so hard has the same science and logic that the scientists are preaching. So it's like you're saying. If I focus, your cells are literally focused depending, on healing. Depending on who you are. Depending on who you are. But I think that if, if you've been doing that and that's been your lifestyle for years on end, yeah, you, you might be better off doing that than having to be a science experiment. But That's if, the thing. That's you know, but, but, if, but if you aren't healthy and then all of a sudden you just use that, that, that as a cop or you just started getting healthy and you just, and you just started that's a lifestyle the change, wow. then, then it becomes a different ball game, right? All right, two minutes. Two minutes. Okay, so like that's what you're so right about that because um, – the health of it is, I feel like they're preaching. Wait, what, say what you just said the last well, part. Well, like, okay, man, if you've been, like, super healthy and you've been doing yoga for your entire life or you have, like, a okay, strong, exactly. like, or if you have, like, you know, really good nutritional habits, you have good sleep habits, you have great stress management, you, you have everything, every foundation in place to help beat this, to beat something like this naturally, then you're probably going to beat it naturally. I will you might say get that. sick and something now, might happen now, now to I got you, my thought but back. you'll probably beat it naturally. But if you haven't been ingraining these things into your lifestyle then yeah maybe a vaccine or something like that is probably hey, a better choice right like that's you, what i think i will you know? say this i will say this two things hey we got to wrap up real yeah. guys it's been a great and fun time it's been fun yeah but like so basically um i will say this in the sense that you literally have um people that the most people that are telling me about pushing the vaccine they have been obese they have been older people and they have been people more prone to the natural fear of it and i feel like if you're healthy, they say this is one fear monger attack, and they say, well, if you don't get the vaccine and you get COVID, the symptoms will be so terrible, like guaranteed. Where I'm like, you have it, but for some people, it's not as terrible. So why? Like, yeah, you like. And, case then, and then the vaccine is truly experimental. It's either experimental or they've been working on this for ten years and something's up. So it's experimental. And I don't even know if it's FDA approved yet. So well, it's not FDA, but even if it is, it's not going to change. Exactly, but that's uh, just my like stepping stone. Like, yeah. of all the stuff they FDA approved, why are they being so hesitant with this one? If they, you know, well, because there's there's always legal stuff. Right? Exactly. You can't do it just yet. But vaccines, but you can't sue. Like, you can't even, you can't sue, even anybody. sue the manufacturer. You no, can't but no, sue the there's a all. whole list of things, not man. Like, I I had some. Uh, well, I, I got my MMR shots as a kid, and I had a bunch of developmental problems that experienced coincidentally right after I got my MMR shots. So I I can go off on vaccines. You want, and that's so crazy because. In, in Dallas, Texas, I was driving, and in Walgreens, there's literally a sign that says, we do measles, mumps, and rebellum shots. And it's in the most hood area, black neighborhood, where it's just targeting, targeting. And there's a lot of science to that, and it's just like, damn, man. Like, oh, do you worry about it? Because I experience, you're a smart I experience. guy, but you, there's, not, there's nothing off about you because we're all special in our own way. But you, you're dealing with this, right? Yeah. And And – it's something that affects you, and and it could be seen. And it's, so, it's when a, somebody's trying to bully me to try to, to to take a shot by these same companies that had no regard for what I had wow. to go through as a kid, man, they can go fuck themselves. And that's I'm not pretty getting, deep. They can go fuck, that, they can go fuck that's themselves. That's pretty I'm not deep. Getting. You're getting on yeah. camera and saying they, that they can go because. Fuck themselves.